everyone back at the bunker a bit of grass cutting uh that's not the main job though main job is you'll see i have another camera up is that well is that one um i want to replace some of the wiring in here so i've got a new charge controller smart charge controller with bluetooth uh which lets me know a bit more what the panel and the battery is doing to replace this one um i've got a timer switch as well which i will go into more when it's sort of on the wall uh, and then i'm going to run some cabling to charge the camera so the camera's up in there outside so i'm going to do that as well so i'm going to do a little bit of wiring and um, then i'll explain more what i'm doing once i've done that uh, it's just to make the solar system a little bit just a bit more productive uh, just so i know exactly what it's doing obviously there's the panel there 50 watt panel so yeah so i've cut the grass a little bit um and i'm just going to take a break here just to get this sorted out so quick jump cut and uh, i'll back to explain what i'm doing in a minute right hopefully you can hear me okay uh well basically the the solar uh does work and it does charge this battery but I don't really, it doesn't really tell me much about the system. It doesn't tell me how many amps I'm getting. It doesn't tell me how many amps I'm outputting. Um, so just to work out how long things will run for, um, I want to do that. So my main reason is uh, with this timer here, uh, what I want to do is, so everything's gonna be charging. So this is all gonna be mounted here like this. Um, and this is going to be charging the battery and then the load here which is output from the battery is going to be controlled via this timer so at certain points during the week this timer is going to turn itself on and it's going to supply power to certain items so it's going to supply power to the geiger counter uh, so i can do the remote logging and it's also going to provide power to the cctv camera so it charges the battery in that uh, so i don't want to charging the battery all the time i only need it charging you know twice a week for maybe four or five hours at a time so that's what this is all going to be so i'm going to remove all this old system here and then i'm going to replace it with this and uh hopefully it should all work quite well so yeah remove all this uh swap it over to this and uh and then we'll go from there so i'll just leave the camera running and uh i'll make it go fast and uh for you, it'll only be a couple of seconds. Uh, for me, it'll be a couple of minutes. But right, let's get to work. Okay, I'll slow it down again now, and in fact, I'll bring this up a wee bit further so you can see what we're doing. In fact, I'll move it completely so you can see what we're doing. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the battery connection and the solar connection, and I'm gonna connect them to this. And then this is going to be the, uh, basically this is, well, the wiring runs to the time switch, and then it runs back out of the time switch again uh, into the box, and then it runs out the top here, and that's gonna be where my 
12 volt connection is. So we'll do that now. Um, all this is running okay, time is correct. So I'll do that very, very quickly and get that running. Okay, that's it generally fitted now. And you'll notice here that the green LED is on. So it's on a float charge at the moment. So the battery's full. Essentially the battery is now full and the panel on this will just keep that battery topped up. Bulk charge is obviously when it's trying to, blue LED, which would be that one. That's when the battery is trying to suck in as much power as humanly possible. Um, absorption is when the battery is nearly full. So it'll just slowly ramp the power down. That's an orange LED. And then the green LED means the battery is 100% fully charged. And it's not taking in any power at all from the solar panel. It's just uh, just sitting there. So I've got that bit done. I need to get this bit wired up. Then we need to run a cable all the way over there. I'm going to drill a hole through there. So yeah, back in a wee second. Okay, here's everything pretty much finished. Um, all wired up. I have this on at the moment. And there's the cable running outside. There's the camera there. I want to just do a quick tidy up of that cable up there just to make that a little bit neater. And put in a couple of uh, just wee nails just to hold that on properly. But that is working and there's the panel getting sun. So that is being powered now by this. So that will keep that 100% charged. So I've still got the other camera, but I've got this camera too. Just I had a bit of a blind spot just in this area here. So that is all going. Um, I'll show you the programming. So if I press, let me see if I can get this, it doesn't, no shadow. So there we go. So on Wednesday morning at 11 o'clock, it comes on. And then on Wednesday afternoon at five, it goes off. And then on Saturday morning at 11, it goes on. And on Saturday afternoon at five, it goes off. There we go, so we're on Tuesday. So I'll just give it a little bit of quick charge now and then um, I'm gonna do a test just to make sure it goes on and off when it should go on. So let me organize that and I'll be back in a wee second. Okay, just to test it, I've reset the timer to turn on at 1.26. So in three seconds here, it should turn on. There we go. So you can see the blue light is on on the USB. So that is now charging and working exactly how it should be doing it. And then at four o'clock, it would turn itself off. So that's working exactly how I want it to work now, which is brilliant. So uh, yeah, just a little bit more tidying up and uh, I'll show you the finished result and then I can get this grass cut. Okay, there's the wiring tidied up. Neatly tucked in. And then that cable, if I lock the focus here, that cable is hidden underneath. Uh, so there's no rain going to be getting onto that. So, yeah, tidy install. That's what I wanted. And the camera, it is off at the moment. Turn off the focus. Off the focus. So it is switched off at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll log into the camera tomorrow. Um, I'll test it at between 11, see what the charge is at, say, 10 past 11, just to make sure it is charging. And then at about half three, I'll log in just to make sure it's still charging. And then just after four o'clock when it goes off, I'll see how much is charged then. Between, I actually changed it from 11 to four rather than 11 to five. I thought that was a wee bit long. So I'll check what is charged then over that period. But as you can see there, it's still on the uh, flow charge, which is good. So the battery is working well. So yeah, I'll quickly get this grass finished off and then I can get tidied up and then I can get home. So, back soon. Right, there we go. All done. Uh, it wasn't very long, a wee bit damp, but it wasn't too bad, the grass. Um, and I removed a big nettle bush from there. And a bit of one from there as well. But yeah, camera's all done. Uh, solar's all done, even though there isn't very much solar today. Uh, but yeah, all done. Okay, I just wanted to show this. Uh, this is actually the next day. So this is now Wednesday. So I just wanted to show that obviously there is no connection on this. You can see that there's no uh, power connection going to it and the battery's pretty low. 
So if I go into settings here and go into the battery, I just wanted to show you that it's on 36% at the moment. And you can see then that's the drop off, how the battery's dropped off since I installed the camera. So what I want to do is um, the time is 10.19. So I'm going to log back into the camera just after 11, just to make sure that this says charging. Uh, and then I will log into it periodically throughout the day just to make sure that it's still going. And then just after four o'clock, I log back in and I expect to see that it has stopped charging, but I want to see what the rate is then after the charge. So it'll be charging from 11 right through until four o'clock. So yes, I will record that and uh, I'll, I'll stick that on. So uh, yeah, quick jump cut and we'll see the results of that. Okay, so it is just after 11. So bunker two is the one we're interested in. Oh, there we go. We are connected. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So you can see there the little lightning bolt and the little plug symbol. The lightning bolt means the battery is being charged and the plug symbol means it is plugged in. That is brilliant. So there we go. Charging. Right, so I'll log in periodically just to make sure it's all still working. But what I want to see is um, by four o'clock, I want to see that up. I don't think it'll be fully charged, but I reckon it'll be up a decent amount. So yeah, um, quick jump cut and it will be after four o'clock. Okay, so it's a quarter past four. So the camera should have stopped charging by now. Uh, let me see, it has, so it has stopped charging, so the timer has turned itself off. And we click on the battery. Oh, and we're up to 89. So I think we started at 36% and we're up to 89%. So that's 53% uh, battery gained. So tomorrow, there we go, yes, 36, 37%. That's excellent. I've done dropped, I've already dropped down a percent. Uh, right, that's excellent. Okay, so we know it works. Uh, we know the whole charging system works and the battery charges. That's excellent. That's really, really excellent. Okay, it's now Friday. Um, so it has been uh, three days since I installed all this. Installed it on Tuesday and it ran on the Wednesday to charge the camera as you saw in the last clip. Uh, and now I'm here now. Now I have it all running at the moment. Um, I wanted to fit this box. So inside that is two 12 volt uh, connectors and the camera runs inside to this one. And then I've got this light switch as well. So if I turn that switch, I've got light as well. So I've got a spare USB in there and uh, so I can run you know, a charger out if I want to or something. So that's good, that's all working. As you can see, it's a lovely sunny day today. So the, uh, in fact, I'll turn around. Well. Sunny enough, um, but it's producing a decent amount of power. Um, obviously, it's quite low because it's not, uh, again, it doesn't need to produce lots and lots of solar because the battery is fully charged. Um, so you can see on the app here, we're using uh, 0.3 apps at the moment. We're using four watt, 0.3 amps, sorry, not 0.3 apps, 0.3 amps, uh, and it's four watts, and that's to charge the camera. So that's why the solar is drawing in one watt more because uh, we are we're using four so if I go to history you can see the watt hours so that's today we've brought in so far so we brought in 10 watt hours of solar today we brought in 20 watt hours on Tuesday and uh, on oh, sorry on Wednesday and then on Tuesday we brought in 30 watt hours uh, which is pretty good so and then that was a consumption. So we used 10 yesterday and we used 20. That was the charging day. So everything seems to be working the way it's supposed to be working, which is great. And I love this little screen that sort of just gives you a little bit of information. But yeah, that is the solar done. And uh, I'll check it obviously Saturday just to make sure it's still working okay. But everything appears to be exactly how I want it. And it's, it's quite a lot more substantial about what we had there before. And what we had there before was the Wii Charger and that was it. Now we've got all this. But yes, everything's working perfectly. Um, so yeah, great.
great and obviously I finished cutting the grass as well as you can see the grass is all done so I have one more job to do and it's in that bag but that is going to be in the next video and there's the guard cows but yeah I think this video has gone on for long enough listen folks as always thank you very very much for watching and uh, I'll see you all again next time bye bye